Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and welcome back to more Vertical Drop Heroes HD. At the end of the last episode, I said don't get attached to these guys, but I had so much fun, I'm going to record another episode right away. So yeah, let's get attached to these guys. Rat Strike, Ferret Wild, and Crimson Eye. What do we see? What do we know? What do we like? Okay, so Ferret Wild is the only one that has a passive trait in the form of Iron Foot. So that is a big plus, but he's also losing 50% of his HP to his bow, apparently. Hmm, haven't played a hero with a bow yet, so that would be an interesting one, certainly. But 18 health, oh, that hurts me so bad. I think we might be going the safe route again here with a guy who has a standard sword, so he's not suffering any penalties based on his weapon type. The axe looks really tempting, plus 33% maximum damage. I like that a whole lot. 24 health, oh, that's 13 health less than Rat Strike. Crimson Eye, can you, can you win me over? Not with Mega Jump, no you cannot. So we're gonna go with Rat Strike because of Lightning and Death Puppet. We haven't seen Death Puppet in action. This was the one a couple of episodes ago that I was on the fence about whether I should buy it or not buy it. How's it gonna work? What's it gonna do? We'll finally get to find out. So let's go ahead and jump in and let's do a little more vertical dropping. All right, to Blacksmith for more damage. I like the damage because it means that I can kill these guys so much more quickly. Hmm, what do I want to do? But I also like having a lot of life. Well, I can do both, actually. I can gain more damage, and I can gain more life. So, uh, yeah, I actually don't have to agonize about that at all. And I'm going to go ahead and gain uh, one more life so that my life and damage are on the same tier here. They should be both on the 125 tier, and they are. So the poor panda down here just not getting any attention at all. And this is something I didn't show in the first impressions video, but uh, down here you can track your progress. You can also get a little sneak peek down here to see what you need to do to unlock certain things. So if we want to unlock the crossbow, we need to unlock five other things and gain a crossbow. If we want to unlock the pickaxe, we need to purchase any 20 unlocks. And then here you can see our sets of abilities. We're slowly unlocking things from these merchants as we go, and they're tracked down here purchase all 50 unlocks to gain the katana. All right, yep, yep. Okay, so uh, all kinds of stuff down here. Nothing that I want to specifically target, not this early on in the series. So let's just jump in and uh, let's do our next drop, shall we? Lots of pacifist orbs right off the bat. The, the panda, every single time I diss the panda, the panda makes me pay. All right, what do we have here? Omni Slash rapidly teleports to and hits multiple visible enemies in a short time. So like Fast Strike, but seemingly better or just different? It hits multiple enemies instead of just one. Uh, so we are nearing, uh, no, we're not. That costs 65, <laughs> I was gonna say. We're nearing the ability to purchase that. Nah, we'll be lucky to get 65 on this entire level. So uh, hopefully we'll get some, some crates that will give us some nice, uh, yep, four gold, some nice uh, bonuses there. But all in all, I think we're gonna struggle to get to 65 gold by the end of this run. Of course, what, what, what is a... Blah, blah, blah. Can I speak? Can I talk? No, I can't, apparently. Uh, what's a good way to do that? Well, a good way to do that is to do things like activating alarms to spawn in more enemies, especially enemies that we can easily kill. So I see that uh, guy shooting arrows down there. He's a lot bigger than everybody else. I've never seen a guy that big before. He must be some kind of a champion or something. That's a new one to me, but uh, I think I'm just going to try to kill him with lightning. There we go. He gave me a health potion, uh, which I didn't need at all, but we'll trigger that alarm to again, try and get more enemy spawns. Lots of alarms down here. We need these guys to be dropping gold, not dropping health potions, especially when we have full health. Definitely not spending any money on shrines. If we're trying to get to 65 gold, we're definitely, definitely conserving our money in every single way. All right, so concentrate, concentrate. What can we do? Can we get 65 gold? Let's see. More health potions, actually that one I'm okay with because I actually had a need for a little bit of health there. All right, what do you want, pal? Dark Sniper. Hey, I think I already beat that Dark Sniper, so I'm gonna get your 50 gold right away, and there we have it. That should be enough for us to purchase Omni Slash if we want it. Take the teleporter back to the top and pick up Omni Slash from our merchant. Not really sure how Omni Slash is gonna go. Oh, and we unlocked a crossbow. There we go. So it's kind of a two for one. So I'm definitely not going to regret purchasing Omni Slash 
after all. Of course, because Omni Slash could suck, but, you know, we got a crossbow out of it, if nothing else. The ranged weapons in this game are interesting because you do still have a close range melee weapon, uh, even when you pick a ranged weapon. But it's kind of interesting because you have to go around and pick up your arrows, which is just a nice little uh, fun mechanic when you're playing as an archer. Quick jump here, trigger an alarm, get some more enemies, get some more coin. Even though we do have our uh, Omni Slash purchased already, no reason to stop being greedy. Let's keep trying to get every single bit of gold we can. All right, we can't make that jump to get over there, so we are going to leave a little gold behind. Uh, or are we? Yes, we are. I thought there was maybe just some off chance I could make a jump, a miracle jump, but it's not going to happen. Uh, there's our restoration. You know, I'm going to go ahead and spam out my lightning and then restore. There we go. Uh, also, yeah, let's use our death puppet. Oh my god, that's a brilliant looking thing. I like that hair on it. That, you know, really, that looks like a death puppet. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Do not regret purchasing the death puppet. That's amazing. I love it. I love that death puppet. All right, though, I could take that teleporter back to the top. That's only going to net me maybe five gold if I go back up to the top. I'm just not that desperate. And it's a fire level again. Great. Okay, so uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to rush through this level. As opposed to actually trying to do too much of anything, we're not going to open up any of these guys because they're only going to create more heartache for us by uh, actually killing stuff and creating fire where we don't want fire. Uh, so we can try to pacifist run this one, basically, just for uh, just for a little bit of extra XP and a little bit of extra gold. Because I don't want to kill these guys because they drop fire on the ground when you kill them. Again, we're going to be skipping over all of our heroes. I uh, don't want to go down there. All right, all right, all right. Uh, okay, how am I going to... Oops. I don't think I'm going to maintain the pacifist run here. But we're going to try. We're going to do everything we can to continue to grab some bonuses. And... We're still a pacifist for the moment, but we're also nearly dead. And no longer in pacifist mode. And we're dead. And we're dead. Just like that, we're dead. Ah, oh, man. That, those fire levels, they are definitely my kryptonite. Ugh. Let's move on here. Maple Soul, Flame Fang, and Rot Carver. So again, we did purchase those upgrades, which means that these guys have significantly more life and uh, slightly more damage. Uh, we do have Omni Slash. I think I'm almost compelled to take Omni Slash. Uh, the spear is actually my favorite weapon because it adds knockback and it has more range. So I really like it. It is obviously weaker, as you can see, minus 20% damage but I really want to try out Omni Slash. Doesn't hurt that we also have Iron Foot on this character, so Flame Fang it is. Flame Fang, guide us. You know what? I'm going to give this panda some love, because I've been dissing the panda. We're going to give the panda a little bit of money, and hopefully on those occasions where we can grab four or five peace orbs before encountering any enemies, we are going to reap the benefits of just dropping 50 gold, or 75 gold, on the panda. What do we always do on runs? We always like to get, get gold. We always like to get keys. So pretty much not going to be any different than any other run that we might do. Five gold for flight, not going to do anything for us here. Uh, it would have been nice to try to maintain the pacifist run a little bit longer, but frankly, I just don't have it in me to juke and jive quite that much right now. We have a key, so we could free this fella. Might as well go ahead. The thief. The thief is actually one of the best guys to free because he's just going to kind of spawn money. And if you keep him alive long enough, he will spawn a giant freaking ruby. And uh, I like that. I like giant freaking rubies. He'll help a little bit too. You know, he's going to kill some guys. Uh, but we don't want him to do too much combat because we don't want him to die. Uh, hopefully he is still alive. I hear him down there doing work. So that's good. He's still alive and he spawned his, uh, he spawned his gem. So let's go ahead and over and grab it. So that's a really nice pickup. Basically trading a key for a good amount of gold. Uh, I think that's a positive. And he did some work for us. He killed some enemies. I, I am really happy with that thief purchase. Really happy with that. So I am not even going to complain about that one bit. Fireballs in all directions. Not interested. Thank you very much. 
finish off the last few enemies here, get to our boss, try to make this a good run. You know, we're getting to that point where we should start getting through the first two levels fairly easily. Uh, you can see here with a little bit of technique, we can actually uh, probably take no damage from this boss. Of course, uh, right as I say that, we take damage. Uh, but yeah, otherwise we did pretty darn good. So I am gonna test out Omni Slash in the beginning of the next level if possible. But for now, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, spawn another couple of enemies here with an alarm. Just because, just because. And we are out onto the Autumn Forest. This sounds pretty strange, but it is true. The Guardians are not one, but two. Great, two bosses, two bosses on this level. So I don't know if I'd prefer fire or two bosses, but we do have a nice uh, means to do a pacifist run here in the very beginning. Not a lot of enemies in our general area. I think though, this is where our run ends. I could definitely avoid killing this guy, but I don't know how advantageous that's gonna be because I wanna get this. Yep. Hmm. Well, I think we need to see what this merchant's offering. Hopefully a new trait. No, uh, more abilities. Shield. Shield's a good ability. Reduces damage by 50% for three seconds. It's one of those abilities that just makes your hero a whole lot tankier. And for 80 gold, uh, I suppose I'm willing to purchase that because I have had that save my life on more than one occasion. Uh, okay, so uh, getting very difficult to maintain a pacifist run here. But I do see another pacifist orb. And now we're going to have to go ahead and break our pacifism. Probably didn't have to do it right there, though, because that led to our untimely demise. Unfortunate. The crow, as always. The raven. A killer. All right, we've got Raven Strike. We've got Dream Bringer. And Onyx Husk. What a great name. With a, a lock of Onyx hair there on top to match it. Okay, so let's do a little bit of logical thinking here. All right, I'm liking Fast Strike, I'm liking Clones, I like Dual Swords, and uh, Iron Foot, sure, you look pretty good. Most of the damage is here, most of the life is here, yeah. I like it quite a bit. Lightning and Mega Jump, no thanks. Shield would be nice, but I don't really uh, want to try that bow out just yet. But we will, we will do some uh, range attacks, don't worry. We'll do some range characters. Uh, definitely don't worry about that. So not enough to actually upgrade anything because we did buy the Shield ability. So let's go ahead and uh, drop once again. Lots of trees, okay? That's, again, sometimes that statue just says weird things. All right, so we should go ahead and start spawning uh, spawning alarms and collecting our gold. You know, I'm looking right now for a hero that is built a little more tanky, but in order to get a tanky hero that can go pretty deep into the game, I need to get some more abilities unlocked, specifically the, uh, or passive traits, excuse me. I need to get some more traits unlocked like Tough. Tough is a really, really good trait that gives you 33% more life. Very often it'll compensate for the life that you lose off of some of the better weapons. So that is a huge boon and I really, really want to get that so that I can, uh, I like how the clones all have white hair. Uh, that, so I really want to get that so that I can, uh, build a tankier hero and get further deeper into the game further deeper further and deeper into the game both further and deeper because you are descending so you want to go deeper what a save what a save all right let's jump over here trigger another alarm and keep killing goblin spearman all right shrine of keys definitely i'll do it no problem with that grab another key up here and another key down here. So I'm rolling in keys right now. Uh, should we clones right now? Hmm, I think I can handle this. Maybe not. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we will definitely spawn our thief because he was so good for us last time. Uh, so I'm definitely in for a thief run here. Keep giving me that gold, buddy. You just keep doing that. Just keep bouncing back and forth in that pattern. Yeah, don't go fight anything. I, I don't want you to die before you spawn your gem, buddy. Oh, hang on, hang on. Not so fast. Where are you going? All right, well, he's on his own. Hopefully, I'm going to get down there later, and I'm going to see a nice red gem waiting for me. Or I might see the, the carcass of a thief. He's actually down there doing some good work on our boss. And yeah, he did spawn his gem, so that's awesome. Send out our clones here. 
And uh, might as well strike as well. Going to use our fast strike. Clear out a little bit here. We got our gem. So the thief gave us everything that we wanted from him. Uh, might as well go ahead and recharge and then let's toss out our clones again. Do my bidding clones. Go, go. Fast strike. Very nice for the finish, a fast strike there. Uh, yeah, so that clone over there just going to drown in the water. Uh, you know, like clones do, sort of a uh, sort of a multiplicity kind of thing. Of course, that hit hit film from uh, Michael Keaton where uh, the clones progressively got dumber. I think that was probably the last clone that I spawned. So, uh, you know, he's barely functional. All right, no fire. We like that. <laughs> we like that. Uh, the fire is such a killer. Such a killer. All right, so we leveled up once more. The pacifist orbs doing exactly what the pacifist orbs do, giving me gold, giving me XP... Oh, we're going to land on the spikes again. All right, what do you got for me, merchant? Talk to me. New power. I really need some traits here. Turns all visible enemies against each other. This effect is permanent. I like that. I'm going to use that. I'm definitely going to take it. And uh, the first time I get a chance to grab that, I'm going to grab it. Uh, probably shouldn't have started, uh, ended the pacifist run there, but uh, whatever. At this point, that's kind of whatever the pacifist run ended. I will uh, at some point maybe take uh, the opportunity to really push for a pacifist run. That was a good chest, a really good chest right there. So I'm not going to complain about using that key up. More alarms, more alarms. Not really helping me too much there. Uh, don't need the health, so we're definitely not going to activate that shrine. I've got eight keys, so there really isn't anything... Uh, there isn't any disadvantage necessarily to using some right here. Even if I wanted to use five keys on the door, I still got seven. So, you know, I've got plenty of keys. I do need to find that princess who is going to inevitably offer me money and or XP in exchange for her lovely diamond ring. Maybe I could extort her for a little bit more. Please have a trait. Power. Summon two sandworms that appear on both sides of the screen in an arc, devouring everything in their path. That sounds so amazing but I really need this guy to start selling me traits. <sighs> All right, oh, the quill, quill boar guy, don't know. Oop, oop, okay, jukin, jukin, I like it. And you're gonna turn around and be basically defenseless. All right. I want that sandworm ability so badly, I do, but I don't have 110 gold, and I don't know if I'm actually gonna make it back up here I don't even know if I'm going to survive this encounter. There we go. Uh, the thief. Yeah, we haven't regretted setting a thief. A thief. A thief. A thief. We haven't regretted setting a thief free yet. So let's definitely set another one free here. There's the princess. Let's go ahead and collect our reward. What are you offering, princess? A hundred coins. Absolutely. Now let's hope our thief is down there keeping himself alive. Maybe doing a little bit of work for us. I'm not as concerned about him helping us by killing enemies as I am about him just simply surviving. He is still alive down there. So if I send out the clones, maybe we can uh, start making some uh, pain for these enemies on screen. And again, our thief paying dividends. I love it. I love it. All right, Red Goblin Champion. It is time to be first struck. I want to first strike the Quill guy. Come on. And I'm out of first strikes. I should probably get some health. And again, my clone up there, as we said, you know, they get dumber the more of them you make. Okay, good. Good job, clone. Way to sacrifice yourself for the greater good and allow us to collect all the gems and get out of this level alive. Hmm, here we go. The giant grub awaits in its slimy pit. When you kill one, the grub will split. I love this boss. The grub boss is probably my favorite boss in the whole game because it has a, the splitting mechanic. When you kill one, he splits into two. When you kill one of those two, they split into two, and so forth, and so on. Now, unfortunately, uh, I'm a little underpowered, I think, for this part of the game. So I'm going to do whatever I can, but I'm, I don't know that I'm going to be able to actually uh, get even to the bottom of this to show you the grub. So we're definitely going to spend a key here because I'm hoping this guy has a trait and he doesn't, but he has something called dwarf turret. <laughs> it drops a dwarf operating a minigun turret, fires a lot of bullets very quickly, loses HP with every shot and explodes when killed. That sounds amazing. Oh, as much as I want new traits, I want a power called dwarf turret. Oh, the shrine of blood not offering anything. The shrine of sparks. 
not offering anything. Ooh, that guy teleported. I don't know that I knew they did that. Another level up. Every level up is making us a little bit more powerful, but I just don't think that our base is powerful enough to get us through this level. Uh, so we're going to try. I mean, I'm not going to give up, you know. Nuts to that. Spike's helping me out there. Thank you, Spike's. Uh, I'm definitely not going to give up, but uh, I am not optimistic about my chances here. Especially not with those fire squirrels. These guys are so freaking tough. Uh, all right. Activate this tablet. The wizard will summon three enemies. Okay. So I guess this is... Uh, no, 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 okay. Uh, so the wizard must want us to activate these tablets as part of his quest. Yes, he wants us to activate three ancient tablets. Uh, no, thank you. Oh, man, so many of these fiery guys. Uh, let's send the clones. Go, clones, go. Uh, okay. Wow. All right, well, I think I'm just going to start spending keys here. Hey, we got another level up, so all of a sudden things are looking a little bit better. And there's the grub. Okay, so the grub actually really doesn't do anything. He walks back and forth and he multiplies. That's pretty much uh, the gist of what the grub does. We'll send the clones down, have them do a little work for us, and then we're going to start in on the grub. Uh, yeah, he's really pretty simple as a boss, but then he starts to split. And it's going to get pretty ridiculous as he splits more and more and more. We can kind of hang here just out of range and work over some of these clones. Or some of these, uh, whatever you call them, larvae, these asexually reproduced offspring. Here we go. Kind of cheesing it here. Kind of cheesing it. But uh, I, I got no rebuttal. I've got no defense. I'm, I'm, I'm full on cheesing it right now. And I'm just going to do it. Loving it. Loving it. Now, eventually, I won't be able to cheese it. So, you know, there's that. Oh, the thief. Oh, if I unlock that thief, he's just going to hop on those spikes. I almost guarantee it. The AI is pretty smart, but not all that smart. I'm going to say it's it's medium smart. What's the uh, threshold for having a mental handicap? It's like 70 IQ or something. So they're like 72 IQ, probably. The enemy AI or the uh, ally AI. So there we go. We did it. We killed a whole bunch of guys. We got a decent amount of money. And we're looking pretty good. I can't believe that we got through that level. But somehow we did. So we're in the Forsaken Tomb, the fourth level. First time we've been this far. Your haste will cause you extra harm. A bomb appears with each alarm. Oh, lovely pros there. Lovely, lovely. So yeah, I guess we want to avoid hitting alarms, right? So I can go this route for two allies, or I can go this route for an ally and two chests. And since we're swimming in keys, let's let's hit some chests. There we go. What are you offering? Fireballs in all directions. Eh, you know. Nothing wrong with fireballs. The flies are a weird enemy because they home in on you. They do one damage, uh, but they can't necessarily be killed, as far as I can tell. So you just have to avoid them. You have to get them to slam themselves into obstacles. Oh, great. And he... Good job. Thanks. Thanks, Ranger. Throwing out an alarm there. Whoa. Okay. That is... That is crazy. All right. Let's avoid that raven because God knows I've died to a raven every time one's been in, uh, on the screen at this point. So I'm just going to avoid him. There's that fly going after me. Uh, oh, no. There's a raven over there. So let's... He's coming for me. He knows he's coming for me. Oh, God. Can I can I even avoid setting that off? No, I cannot. So I just need to run, and I need to get to a place where I will not be killed by the fireball. Oh, good. I got it off screen, so it didn't trigger. Oh. <laughs> that's, the time, that's the time when I need a shield right there. That is, that is a shield. Or a fast strike. I forgot I had that. Uh, let's fast strike. There we go. That'll get us down here. Please have a trait. <sighs> okay. Drops a trap that explodes after three seconds or when triggered, dealing 200% damage to all nearby units. That seems like a whole lot of damage. I just really don't feel like I can spend that. I have so many I have so many abilities right now that, that seem really great uh, that I don't necessarily... Ooh. That I don't necessarily feel like I need another one. Which might, might sound a little bit... <laughs> sound a little bit arrogant or sound like I'm uh, 
overestimating my abilities here. Oh my goodness, there's a whole lot of spikes there. So why don't I just start, you know, using some of my abilities uh, until I die a horrible death. So I kind of had a little bit of a laissez-faire attitude to that particular boss encounter. I just thought oh, I can jump around. And then I noticed there was a, on the left side, there was a water uh, area filled with spikes and then there were a ton of enemies. And then I was dead and that's that. So that's going to do it for this episode of Vertical Drop Heroes HD. As always, I have been Big Dave. I do appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me on these episodes. I do appreciate every view of my videos, whether it, it's a video that gets 20 views or a video that gets 200 views. I'm just absolutely flattered that anybody would take even a minute out of their day to watch some of the stupid stuff that I put on the internet. All right, guys, until next time, take it easy.